too. All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Daryl McCutcheon here, the co-CEO of the Networkers Lounge. I'm bringing to you another fantastic leader that I want to have the opportunity to share with you in the community. This is my dear friend, Pastor Chris Matthews from the South Carolina area. I just want to take a couple minutes here. You know, I've had the opportunity to embrace Chris um, as a brother and as a business partner here over the last couple of years. And I'll tell you, it's been a phenomenal, phenomenal relationship. Um, Chris's primary interest and concern is in the area of ministry and his work to God, serving a very purposeful life for God, uh, doing the things that he can do to pass on the understanding the reasons why we need God in our lives. But he's also a business entrepreneur and radio host. He just recently launched today his most recent uh, offering to the business community, which is Trinity Meditation Network. It's a phenomenal network, and I'm so delighted to have Chris with us today to take just a couple minutes here to speak with you guys. Chris, how are you doing today? I'm a coach, and I'm excited to be here when you call me today. I'm well, Chris, excited about talking about what I do. Well, thank you. Lord, so you know, I'm glad to be here. Thank you, man. Thank you. It's truly, truly an honor and a pleasure, man. I, I want to thank you for your time. I know it's a little bit impromptu, so you may just be a little bit, a little bit nervous here about the things, but I know you're not a nervous guy. Chris, what I want to do here, again, I just want to share you with our, our business community and for people in the World Wide Web and give them the opportunity to know who you are. So there's three things that I, I want to ask you today. And I'll begin with the first question to you, Chris. And it's simply this. Who is Chris Matthews? Chris Matthews, first and foremost, I'm a preacher first. That's what I've been born to do, called to do. Okay. I've been talking about the word of God as long as I could remember. So that's the first thing I am. I'm a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that's my passion. Everything else is just, that's like the root. Everything else, that's like the tree. Everything else is branches from that, every other thing that I do. I'm obviously in business. I do things in the community. But the number one thing I consider a number one life assignment is meditation, teaching meditation to the body of Christ. Awesome. Awesome. And Chris, you know, I know that, man. I, uh, Being a believer myself, you know, I cannot count the endless blessings that you poured into my life, the revelations and the wisdom and the understanding um, that you shared with me through the gospel of the word that's empowered me. And I thank you for that. Um, my next question is, and you've kind of touched on that a little bit. Um, my next question to you, Chris, is what do you have to offer? What is it that you offer the World Wide Web community? I, I got it now. What I have to offer, what I, I believe is revolutionary. What I offer to people, I have a tagline on the Trinity Meditation Network. And the taglines, I got to remember, like I, from the Holy Spirit, it didn't come out of my head. Uh, we building, we build the kingdom by building up others. We build the kingdom by building up others. So the, the goal of Trinity Meditation Network and goal of what we do is to build you up, not only mentally, but build you up financially, socially, and in every other area. So our goal is to build people up. But the number one area we focus on building people up is building up them, them up mentally. Once they're built up, you the scriptures that support that. Third John 2 supports that. Beloved, I pray above all things that you would prosper and be in health. And the key thought on the end, I, even as your emotions, even as your will, even as your conscious prosper. And another verse I'm going um, to talk about, and that adds to that one, Romans 12, 2, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Now, the listeners know something wrong with our mind. Otherwise, we would need to renew it. Be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. And this is the result, that you may know the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. So my objective is to help people to get their minds renewed so they can think celestial thoughts, so they can have a celestial mind. I call it celestial mind. You know, when we leave this earth and be with Jesus, we're going to have a celestial body. But while we're in this earth suit, we should endeavor to have a celestial mind. A celestial mind is a mind that think of lofty thoughts and I think in accordance to what God has already said about them. So that's my goal, Daryl, just to help people to think 
exalted level. Because every Christian is a genius. Because we got Jesus living in us. We got the Holy Spirit living in us. So every Christian, the moment they get saved, they're positioning. Now they got to renew their mind and walk into what they already have. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that, man. So taking that in mind, you know, moving from, from a spiritual base and from a spiritual foundation, from a gifted and given relationship that you have received and accepted with our Lord and Savior, how do you take that from a ministry perspective and move that into a business arena? Well, there are a couple of ways I do it. On my website that we launched today, June 10th, 2012, what we have, we have seven gates. And they knew that a lot of them came by revelation, so I didn't really, don't have them all down in my head yet. But we have seven gates. And the gates are Trinity Meditation Network. That's the starting point. Because Trinity Meditation Network, Trinity obviously means God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Meditation deals with the mind, the emotion, the will, and the conscience. The network deals with people and entities. So that's the first thing. Then we move down from there to Soul Prophet University. They're in the network and they can connect with other people. But the next thing they have to do, gate two, is get their mind new. And under Soul Prophet University, we have two entities. We have the Christ, our system. That's based on a system of 10 spiritual disciplines, mental disciplines, that spend 10 minutes a day and come into an hour that helps your mind to be elevated. It's like exercising your mind. Just like when you go to the gym, you just don't focus on one muscle. The goal is, if you do it right, to focus on all the muscles. So that system goal is to help you strengthen all your muscles, or minimal muscles. And because of that, now you'll be able to properly your business. And another component of that, we have the University of Favor, which is 52 points for having favor with God. And what we do is teach you how to walk in favor. Mm-hmm. And to, because you have to have favor, it's not automatic. You know what? The Word of God said, Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor. With God and man. So if Jesus, the Son of God, had the increasing favor, what about Daryl? What about Chris? What about every other believer? So that, that's the components of that. Then we move on to number three, creating one power. That's the money section. Component two is where you get your mind right now, creating wealth out. That's gate number three. And we have four businesses in there. Three of them are relationship marketing. And one of the businesses is Soul University so proper university and people pay nine ninety five a month to be part of that. But when they share that with other people, they get seven dollars back. Something they need to do anyhow. So the whole goal is to renew people mind. And I just go over the other gates at a later point later in this session here. Yeah, but that's the main thing. Get your mind renewed. Then when you remove renew your mind, then we move over and show you how you could start in some type of business. And then from there eventually you want to create your own individual system. You want to plug into some, some, what somebody else has, but eventually you want to develop your own system. That's the goal. You know, it's, start. A lot of times you just start with somebody else. You know, it's something that I've always said to people here lately, and I, you know, being myself um, entrepreneurial, and you and I both share the task, um, if you want to call it a task, of sharing and embracing people for success. And one of the things that you and I both realized, Chris, is that regardless of what we have, and you know, everybody's got stuff. One of the things that we both realized is that if a person is not right, if they're not within their season, if they're not within the right connection with God, with the God in their life, it doesn't matter what we have to offer them. If they're not ready, and if they're not right, then it's not going to work. Um, it takes work. And if you're not there, it's not like it's not going to work because you can always get yourself to that point. But you must take the steps that are so ordered in order to get to that point so that you can receive the harvest that God has in store for us. But, you know, this is one of those things that I, I believe um, you and I both know there's a lot of ministries out there online. Um, you know, the Bible speaks about being um, mindful and, and, and cautious, cautious of sheep's, I mean, uh, wolves and sheep's clothing. So I will say this question in closing with you is that why should people believe in Chris Matthews? Why should they join ranks with Chris Matthews and Trinity Medi- uh, Meditation Network? What makes Trinity Meditation Network the key 
to spiritual and business success? The reason I would say a couple of reasons. It, it is proven, people use a lot of different names, but it is proven that meditation is the master key to walking in the supernatural. That's proven. I mean, if you uh, check any race, any nationality, any successful person, any endeavor, to some degree they meditate. They might not call it meditation, but they do meditate to a degree because everyone meditates. A lot of people just don't do it on purpose every day, but everyone meditates. Negative thinking is really only meditation. And that's to give the second reason I think they need to connect with what we're doing is because what we're doing, it has God's it's, it's a, anointed by God. That's something God wants done. It's really a ministry. It's really not about the business or not about, it's about being able to find what God called you to do and not what meditation would do. It'll help you discover your life assignment. And if everybody do what they're supposed to do, mm -hmm. about every joint mm -hmm. supply, mm -hmm. it'll help the entire world. Because what Del McCutcheon has to, to leave the world, no one else can do it. If Del McCutcheon don't do it, it'll never get done. Mm -hmm. Because you have your own DNA, you have your own group, and there will never be another one of you. Never. So if you don't do your life assignment, you, it'll go, you go to the with that being undone. Same thing with me. No one else can do Trinity Meditation Network. No one. At all. I'm the person that has preordained, called from the foundation of the world, just like Jeremiah to do that. So everyone that connects with that, they're really co-laboring not with me. They're co-laboring with God. God mm -hmm. is using me because he won't work independent of people. And that's why I think the folks that have an ear to hear, they'll connect with what we do, and they really only connect with God. Amen. Amen. Well, Chris, I, I tell you, I, I believe that. I believe in you, and I believe in the God in you. And this is why I embrace you in success, man, and I embrace, I embrace you in life and in purpose of life because I know who you are in Christ and in God. So I, I, I thank you for being in my life. So with that being said, Chris, I really, really thank you, man, for your time. Um, I want to open up the floor to you right now for any closing comments that you might want to share with anyone that might be in the audience that's looking at this video at this time. Um, for, the, for all of you that are listening to, to today, my contact information, you can go to trinitymeditationnetwork.com. All my information is on there. Once you go there, you can feel free to click on my, the members page. My member page, Chris Matthews, and I have my contact information there. And obviously, once you get there, browse around, join some of the groups, or even, and obviously, even if you feel the network benefits, you just join the network and connect and see what we're doing. And from there on, you feel what we do, you feel our heartbeat, and you will know that it is, it's a nice place to be. Well, Chris, I thank you so very, very much for your time today. God bless your heart. God bless you in all of your endeavors in faith, finances, and in family.